this book, because it's a collection of primary documents, is at least a beginning for any Nez Perce person who's interested in finding out the history of their ancestors and their land. One of my major goals in all of my work about allotment has been to make this story available to Nez Perce peoples, present day Nez Perce peoples, so that they can understand the stories of how their land was divided up, about how their ancestors negotiated with Fletcher and sometimes resisted her to try to get the most advantageous allotments for themselves and their families. Fletcher started allotting properties in the Kamii Valley. She apparently thought that it was going to be a simple matter of taking people who had lived in a place for generations and picking up people and their buildings and their cattle and whatever and moving them from point A to point B so that all of the survey lines in the Kamii area could be laid out at right, right angles. Um, she got over that pretty quickly. Fletcher wrote tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of letters over her entire lifetime. And she certainly wrote more than 5,000 letters during the time she was on the reservation. But the problem is, she was a very private person. She was, there were some scandals about her personal life going on back in Washington. And so much later in her life, after the allotment was over, she burned all of her personal papers. So we only have a certain segment of her correspondence. 